Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And today's aircraft we have here is from Hobby Master. It is one from the 172nd Scale Air Power Series. It is the McDonnell Douglas RF4C Phantom II. And uh, this is a tactical reconnaissance variant. And it is one from the 10th Tactical Reconnaissance Wing um, that was based in uh, RAF in Alconbury in 1967. And they, they got these aircraft firstly in 1965. I purchased this actually secondhand, so be interesting once once we open the box and see what it is i got it for 80 bucks so i got actually got it for a bargain so um it does look brand new and um, the seller did say it was brand new it was on a seller on ebay and it does it's the usual hobby master deal it does have some information on the flap as per usual and it does look nice and tidy in there and it looks complete so let's have a look and open this up and have a look this is it straight out of the box it does come with a little baggie that does have some uh, external fuel tanks and it comes with a stand, as, as, obviously, as you can see there. And uh, what we'll do is we'll open this packet up. Get that lid off. And as you can see, it does look pretty complete. Um, as the seller said, it looks brand new. It's nice and snug in there. Has the couple of pilot figures, the option for the canopy to be open. Has all the landing gear, little parts for that. And to have it at wheels up as well if you want to have it in flight mode. And what we'll do is we'll get this aircraft out of that packet and into our hands. So we'll just grab that aircraft. Grab that mighty phantom. I do love a phantom. I I'm pretty sure I've said that plenty of times. The details of the aircraft itself, nice. <laughs> Very nice. It does. It looks fantastic. Uh, I do love myself a phantom. And the uh, RF4C, it is the reconnaissance version. So it does have a, a couple of little extra features. The, the nose is a little bit elongated. It's got some like windows in the side there for the cameras and stuff like that. We'll have a look underneath. That That's where you'll really notice it. And as you can see there, you can see all that reconnaissance detail underneath there. Underneath the aircraft is the typical hobby master. It's spot on. It's beautiful. It's got some beautiful lines. It's the lines are nice and deep. It's got the uh, op spots for the pylons for the, the tanks, and then obviously the landing gear goes in its uh, relative spots. And I think overall, this this thing is this bird is beautiful. It, it's a, a nice looking phantom and it's, it's you know, it's a different one. I, I, it's a, not your fighter phantom or bomber phantom. It is a reconnaissance one. So um, I was glad I could find one of these and grab it. I think the pro price was a steal, as I said. And we'll have a look at the panel lines on the wing here. Beautiful, beautiful details on there. And we'll run along the fuselage here and check it out. And, and the canopy, we'll have a look and see if we can get some cockpit details. You can... See the colour glass in the front, that's done beautifully. And I think this overall this is a beautiful looking die cast aircraft. And I think it's um yeah. If you can find one of these, this is a good one to have. I I, I like it. It's a I mean it might, you know, it's all a sort of a solid colour, but I, I think it's a nice looking aircraft overall. And um I think it's pretty pretty tough looking bird. And I do, as I said, I <laughs> and continue will say, I do love myself a phantom. Now, I, I do have, uh, you know, a couple of birds that I do really like, and the Phantom is one of those. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll kit this out and uh, put some landing gear on it. So here we have it all kitted out. Um, if you want wheels up, it's just these three pieces. Uh, I always go the uh, complicated route and uh, gear down. <laughs> but um, look, to be honest, it wasn't that hard to do. It sort of blends into the background a bit, the underneath of this aircraft. But... Um, they just dropped in, uh, two little parts there drop in there, the, the wheels drop in there, and the same, just a, a gear bay door drops in there, and that, that drops in there, and um, they do not roll, no, they don't turn, so, and then the fuel tanks just drop in nice and easy. Um, it's straightforward, There's no, there is no complication, um, not even for my sausage fingers, it was a straightforward effort, and it, it does come up really nice. I, I think overall, it's, um, I reckon it comes up really good. I don't have a problem with it, and I, I think it's, you know, as I said, it's a pretty pretty tough-looking bird, and um, I like it. It's something a little bit unusual um, in regards to an F4 Phantom and its role that it normally does play, and um, this, was, this, this has been such an iconic air aircraft um, uh, throughout the aviation history, really, but um, I'll leave it at that. It does come with the generic sort of uh, Hobby Master stand, and, and as I said, those two pilots, that you, if you do wish to put figures in your aircraft, um, you can do so, so we will chuck it. This phantom on the deck and it doesn't fall apart. So sausage fingers worked okay today. 
And as per usual, if you did enjoy the video, throw us a like, that'd be awesome. And even subscribe to the channel if you found the uh, video helpful in any way whatsoever. All right, guys, thank you so much. So this is the uh, McDonnell Douglas RF4C Phantom II. Um, it is from the 10th Tactical Reconnaissance Wing, based at RAF Alconbury in 1967. And um, it is by Hobbymaster and it's 172nd scale die cast. All right, guys, I will leave it at that. And thank you so much for spending the time with me today once again. And you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.